Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the TP-Link Wi-Fi.net is not working on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. So first thing I would suggest would be to actually restart your router. So if there's not a reset button on your router itself, try unplugging and plugging it back into the wall outlet and hopefully that should be able to reset the router. So if that's still not able to resolve your problem, I would suggest going ahead and opening up the start menu, left click on the start button one time, type in control panel, best match should come back with control panel, may have to just give it a second to load here, I'll just left click on that one time, Now you want to go select view by up here, change it to category view, and select network and internet. Now you want to select internet options. Now they're in here, you want to go and underneath where it says connections, left click on that one time. Underneath local area network settings or LAN settings, left click on LAN settings. You want to select automatically detect settings, left click on OK. Under Network and Sharing Center, you want to left click on where it says View Network Status and Task. And now, whatever your connection type is over here, in my case it's Ethernet, it could be Wi-Fi in your case, depending on what kind of internet type you're using, you want to left click on it. And then near the bottom, you want to left click on where it says Properties. Select Internet Protocol Version 4, and then left click on Properties. You want to make sure obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically are both selected. Left click on OK. Restart your computer and hopefully that should be able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.